Well, I am 32 years old. Uh, I am originally from a little town in eastern North Carolina called Tarboro. Um, I am married. I have a almost one-year-old son. His name is Grady. Um, I've been in Charleston for about eight years. Um, I originally came down to Charleston for law school. Um, I stayed after I met my wife, um, and I've been working as a public defender for the past five years in Monk's Corner. Um, I like to golf. I like to I like to fish, um, and uh, you know I, I like to be active. And I think that's what brought me back to locomotion was uh, the want to be active. And uh, I think the catch that what what Jay told me the first time that I met him was kick ass ninety year olds, and that's what this is about. And I think that's what really drew me in. Um, to Loka. The fatigue set in a lot faster. Um, you know, of course, like anybody, I, 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 I'm social. I, I like to, I like to go out and you know tailgate, drink beer, and you know do all of those things that are fun as an adult. But you understand that the lifestyle of eating whatever you want and, and drinking whatever you want that uh, are, are good things. They're, they're fun things, but that can't be the only thing. Well, I think the straw that broke the camel's back is I had been thinking about getting back into the gym for a while. I had moved, and I, I, I think I told you earlier is that I, I have been in Charleston for the past eight or nine years, but really I moved back up to North Carolina for about a year and a half after law school um, and moved back to South Carolina and been between houses, and it was just not, it was a priority to get back to the gym, but it was more of a priority to get settled. Um, and once my wife and I, we bought our house in Park Circle, I. Um, you know, I figured out that locomotion was a neighborhood and it was a convenience thing. Um, then I met Jay and he, you know, he kind of gave me the pitch about what loco was about. And I know I said earlier about being kick-ass 90 year old, it, it's, it's about a lifestyle for a long time that I want to be able to live. Um, and that's being active and that's being healthy. Um, and Jay embodied that when I met him. So, uh, you know, I'll say it again, the, the being a kick-ass 90 year old really, really sat in. And, you know, when I joined loco and I actually got it on the floor, and did some of the classes, I figured out that's what, that's what the theme of this place is. It's for everybody. It's to make everybody better as we go through our life. And that's not just physical. I mean, that's, that's mental, that's emotional, that's, that's discipline, all of those sorts of things um, Loco provides. When I first started, I had the Jay told me that you know there's a lot of things that locomotion offers from a boot camp to CrossFit to cycling to yoga um, and, and most recently the you know, nutrition program but the, the, the physical portion of it I came in with the mindset I wanted to do CrossFit um, but the way that this is set up and understandably so that the coaches want to make sure that you are comfortable and they're comfortable with you doing some of the motions of, of CrossFit um, no matter what your background is that's that's for everybody and at first, I didn't understand that because I felt like I came from a physical, active background where I've done these movements before. But nonetheless, I, I, I acquiesced and did the ten, you know, the, the ten boot camp classes, and I have not done one single CrossFit class since I've been here. Um, I've done a few yoga classes, I've done a few cycling classes, classes, but for the most part, boot camp has been my jam, absolutely, um, because it provides everything for me that I feel like that I need from strength to cardio. Um, I get all of that with the boot camp and the coaching and the atmosphere that boot camp provides is one of camaraderie, uh, 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 pushing yourself and just the fun filled spirit where everybody's got your back. And CrossFit may still do this, this for, for a lot of people, but I had the idea that CrossFit really was something that was going to take me physically, and I'm talking about from a body composition place where I was going to drop the body fat, I was going to drop the pounds, um, I was going to get back to, uh, you know, what I feel like a 32 year old uh, should look like, you know, which is, you know, somebody that's healthy and we're not thinking about taking uh, 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 heart pills or, you know, but frankly, boot camp gave me that, what I was exactly looking for, that I thought CrossFit could do, and it was boot camp. Um. 
uh, it, it, that, that's still primarily the goal of mine was I, I came in um, at, uh, I'm five foot seven, I came in at about 218 pounds, um, body fat around 35%. Um, cholesterol was not in a, in a good place. Um, so I knew that for me, it was about getting healthy. And I'm talking about trying to bring the cholesterol back down, try to bring the body fat back down. All of those things work together, and I, I think you know most of the coaches agree. And, and I, in all of my sit downs with the coaches, that was for me a goal of mine was to bring that down, and we did that. Um, so absolutely, that's still a goal. And in the process of doing that, I'm you know I'm able to run two miles without stopping. You know, all of those things that I really had in my mind that I wanted to do before is, is you know get those pickup basketball games, those pickup soccer games. But I knew for me it was about getting the weight down, getting the body fat down, um, and getting to a place where I could, I could do that. So um, uh, my cholesterol is uh, back down into an almost normal level. Um, it's, it's not, it's, it still needs to come down some more, but we're uh, doing a lot better. Um, I went from 35% body fat down to 25% body fat. Um, I was down from I'm down from 218 when I started back in September of 2020 down to 202 um, as we sit in October of 21. Um, so those things are looking well. And actually, uh, last weekend I was up at Myrtle Beach. Uh, uh, we played a pickup soccer game full length. Uh, you know, and I played for two and a half hours, and granted, I was tired. But before, I would have, I would have wanted to quit because I, I knew I couldn't keep up. So, um. I think by just being there and being themselves, uh, I think Loco has created an atmosphere where you are allowed to be yourself. Uh, it's a come as you are. We're going to work really hard, but. Nobody is above another. There, there's, there's. I think the best way that you can describe it is, is the judgment-free zone. Uh, I think everybody can relate to the idea of a judgment-free zone, and that's what this is. So, the people at Locro, the coaches, um, the other members, it's a, um, it's an atmosphere I think anybody would want to be a part of. I think the gym has brought me a level, a, a renewed level of accountability that I have been lacking for the you know, past five or six years that I really wanted to get back to. And that's accountability coming to the gym, accountability, and, and, and the gym is only a small percentage of this. I mean, most of the accountability comes from um, the diet. But coming to the gym and being around the coaches and being around the people at Loco, have helped me help renew that level of accountability that I can take that into my job. Um, I could take that into um, my home life. Um, so I think the accountability portion of it mentally has helped me the most because it's been a constant factor that I have on a weekly basis to be able to rely on. Coming is the hardest part. It's just, if you just get started, you will thank yourself so much later. 100% um, the hardest part is, is getting started. Um, if you can break that barrier, you've done 90% of the work already. So, I would say just start. <laughs>